This is the Arzen Ease D1 Pro. It's a follow-up to the previous model, which was the Ease Series D1. I've also reviewed that, so you can also check that with the link in the description. This has some really nice upgrades, so make sure you check all of the information in the description box below to find the latest pricing information, the discounts, and all of the key specs. So let's go ahead and start off this review and check what's inside the box. So you have the power plug, HDMI cable, a very nicely designed user manual and booklet, some cleaning kit, and this is the remote control. I just wanna highlight something around this. Now this is actually a very premium looking remote control. This is actually a Bluetooth one. So in addition to infrared, this can actually work from anywhere in the room. So you don't need to directly aim this at the front or the back of the projector. This will work from wherever you are. So that's also a very nice touch and it actually feels very nice in your hands. And this is the projector itself. So let's take a closer look at the design and look at the key specs. Now compared to the previous model, this comes with this very nice dark space gray colored design. Previous one is in white. Now this is full HD 1080p native, but it can upscale 4K content. It does have Dolby Audio for the speakers and we'll talk about the speakers in a second. It is actually quite lightweight and portable, so that's always nice to see. The ports are on the left-hand side here. So we have a headphone port, an AV port, two USB ports, a HDMI port if you want to connect to any of your external HDMI devices, and the DC input there. You have your power and menu buttons just along the top there as well. You have a couple of air filters along the back over here as well, just to prevent dust going in. Speakers are on both the sides as well, so these are really high quality speakers. You have a quarter 20 inch thread in the middle of the bottom, and you also have a screw kickstand in case you want to elevate this slightly more. So you can position this on either a tripod or also ceiling mounted. And then you have this nice transparent acrylic casing on the front just to protect all of the sensitive parts of the projector. Now this also has something called Total Sonics built in with the speakers. So I'm just gonna talk about that for a second. Now this has two 10 watt speakers in there with Dolby Audio support. So it does really pack a punch with the total 20 watt power output. But Total Sonics is an audio processing technology that delivers the best possible sound using its drivers, which means it provides more fuller, natural sound with clear dialogue and freedom from unwanted volume spikes. So we will be testing out the audio and this is going to be as clear as the Arzen Boom 3, which I've also reviewed previously. So this is going to be really great for a full home cinematic experience. Okay, so everything is set up. Now, the one thing I really like about the Linux OS system is that it's super fast to get up and running. It's lightweight and the speed compared to like Android TV or Google TV is something that you just can't compare anything else to. So that's also a good plus. Now, this does have licensed Netflix. You have YouTube and you have Prime Video. There is an app store where you can download a bunch of apps, but this doesn't have something like Disney Plus or Apple TV. You'd have to connect something to the HDMI port like an Apple TV box or an Amazon Fire Stick. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and first of all, start with the fan noise. Now this does have quite a bit of fan noise. However, because of the power of the speakers in this, as soon as you start playing back content, that completely drowns out all of the fan noise that this projector emits. So I will play back some content, but this is 350 ANSI lumens. So it is very decent and you can see there's a lot of daylight coming into the room and you can still see the screen quite clearly but I'm gonna go ahead and make it black out just to give you the full potential of how you may use this projector, which is going to be in dark or nighttime conditions. So let's go ahead and do that now. And there you go. How bright and vivid does that look? Let's go ahead and just quickly go through some of the settings because I've shown these settings in the previous E-Series D1 review as well, but just for anyone that hasn't seen it, let's go through picture mode. You have high bright, standard, custom, cinema, sport, vivid. I'm gonna leave it on high bright. You have audio settings. You can do various different things from here as well, like set the bass and treble. I will leave them all on standard, 50 and 50. You can connect Bluetooth devices, set your Wi-Fi, set the projection mode, however you want to position the projector in your home. Keystone correction. This has super fast auto keystone and auto focus. So when I set it up, I didn't make any manual adjustments. How you're seeing it on the screen is how it would automatically set up as soon as I put it on the tripod and turned it on. This also has zoom. So you can also reduce this if you have a set distance for your projector that you want to place in your house and you have a certain size on your wall or your screen, then you can make that adjustment manually here. And then you have the focus settings here in case you ever want to go and do in some manual focus. And the last option just gives you more information about the different versions of the firmware and of Netflix on this system. 
Now, if we just quickly go through the App Store, this is what I've shown before previously with the Linux OS systems. There's a whole bunch of third party apps that you can download and explore on here as well, if that's something that you would like to do. A whole bunch of categories that you'll see listed on the top right of your screen, which I'm just going to cycle through now. And I won't spend too much detail and time diving into these ones, but there's probably thousands in here that you can also have a look at and explore. And if you go into this option just on the right hand side, this allows you to screencast from your Android phone or even for your iPhone. You can connect this to HomeShare or you can actually use the projector as a Bluetooth speaker and then just play back music from your phone directly from this because the speakers on here are amazing. The first video that I want to show you as a demo is purely based on sound because I really want to show you how this sounds and there's no chance that I could actually go to 100% volume on this because it is very loud. So I will probably go around the 30, 40 mark, but you will be able to hear how great this sounds and how clear you can hear every single detail in the video. So let's go ahead and play that back. <laughs> Hopefully you heard how clear that was as much as how I heard it standing next to the projector. It is very powerful. Of course, the visuals are stunning, but for me, audio is just as important as video quality. And this is no exception on this projector because it is powerful. I can hear every tiny detail in that sample video you just saw. So now one more video I'm going to show you is directly from Dolby Audio. It gives you that full cinematic experience and it will give you a very good guidance on how clear this is going to be for that all round home cinematic immersive experience. From the beginning, we've asked the impossible questions. How do we spark awe? How do we evoke wonder? And how do we create an experience that takes you there? That immerses you in the moment. So my final thoughts, if you're on the lookout for an affordable high quality projector that provides great visuals combined with immersive audio delivered with high quality speakers through a very generous 20 watt power output, then this is a projector you really need to consider. And I have to say, having a Bluetooth remote control really does make a big difference when you're navigating a projector from large rooms and from various angles, making it so much easier to use even when the projector is not in a direct line of sight. Overall, it's a very impressive upgrade from the previous model. So make sure to check the link for all the information you need. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.